Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me today as I share one of my favorite ways to use iAnnotate. As a teacher, one of the things that's really important to me is that as students are doing presentations, I'm able to give them real-time feedback. A lot of times, you know, I don't want to be looking at my computer and typing away um, the whole time, but at the same time, I want to be able to capture certain things in that moment. So one of the big things that I have to kind of think about is how can I balance both? Well, one of the ways in which I've been able to do this is by using iAnnotate. So one of the things that I love to do in my classes are debates. Debates are really something that we do throughout the year, and it's really not about how you perform the first time or the second time, but really one of the big things that I'm trying to do, and one of the big things that I'm trying to get across to the students in terms of feedback is ways in which you can improve, things that you did really well on, things that you can improve upon for next time, and I look to see did they make those changes, yes or no, and how are they incorporating those, and basically how are they growing as individuals who are able to articulate their points of view in a respectful um, manner. So one of the ways, like I said, in which I like to do this is by using iAnnotate. So you'll see over here that we have a folder called rubrics. Now my students and I share folders and with iAnnotate, one of the great things is you can share folders really using any cloud-based software, whether you like Dropbox, whether you like Google Drive, whichever option it is you're comfortable with, that's the one you can use. So in my case, we're using um, Google Drive and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up the rubrics folder. So this is really what I would do if the students were getting up there ready to do their debates. I would go ahead, I would open up this folder and mind you, we share this folder. So whatever I'm doing on this document, the student is going to be able to see as well. So this way, as soon as they're done with their presentation, they know exactly how they scored. So this is what my rubric looks like. It's just a PDF copy. It um, goes for about two pages. One of the things that you'll notice is I can resize my document. So if I want to zoom in a little bit, I can. And if I want to just kind of look at it um, and as a whole view, I can do that as well. Now again, what makes this so great is that I'm able to get my thoughts down without having to spend too much time looking and interacting with my screen. I go ahead and I can choose one of my tools and I can go ahead and I can start marking now what I think they scored, um, how I think they scored in each area. One of the other things that's great about what I can do is I can go ahead and I can add a little comment box and I can go ahead and write in my comment right over here as well. This now is accessible to the students as soon as they are done with their presentation. We can discuss it, we can talk about it, but again, like I said, it's great because it's happening right then and there in that moment. iAnnotate has so many more features in their toolbar that you could use to you know, give feedback, whether you wanna use the pen to kind of circle things and underline those, whether you wanna you know, take a photo of a really great slide that you might've liked, whether you wanna take a sound clip to maybe let them reflect upon how did you sound when you were starting your introduction, what was your tone like, how might we be able to change some of those things, um, and really just sort of anything you want. So thanks iAnnotate for being so great and making such awesome um, tools for us to be able to use. I love it and I hope you love it too.